go back. Oh, that's the one that he needs. Man, that was a really early kill. Connie's is, uh, he's not shy to just throw that down tilt. Such a good move for Young Link. Leads to so many of his combos and flat out kill confirms as you saw. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Okay, right now, I'm just watching Connie's. Like, he does not care about how many times h is jumping. He's just swatting him in the air, but opportunity? Oh, he has yeah. the bomb, though? He does have the bomb, yep. though. This is good for H-Box, though. I like how he goes for the deep nair. Because, oh. you know, lasting hitbox is really good. Colonies on the down tilt, though, returning for stage control. Smart play. Uh, usually, it, it might be more wise to stay on stage because, you know, H-Box can shamble you if you're in the wrong position. Great call out with the up smash, too. Nice, nice anti-air up smash. Yeah, he definitely needed that stock before things got out of control. I, honestly, it might still be out of control. He's very close to dying already on this stock. And uh, Connie's just not really even struggling to find the kill move. There it is again, another down tilt up there. Just a very consistent kill option for Young League, it seems, versus Jigglypuff. Nope, no shield puff with that down air. He's looking for it. Yeah, Colony just knows that Jellypuff has to respect these hitboxes. That's why he's just continuously just threading the air with all these aerials. Making it so that Hbox uh, can't really jump as freely as he's used to in most matchups. Okay. Um, nice. Okay. Yep, yep. Nice. And that's good. Young Link can now make that recovery. Hbox nice, is 68%. Nice. At this point here, yeah, Hbox is playing really smart. Wait for the invincibility go to run out, go off stage, and then see what you can do get for a plan back on stage. It's not out of the card for Hbox. He's been actually able to get some early KOs, especially against characters like Sunyar. Great poke there after the pound into an immediate aerial just yeah. to get through Colonies. Yeah, he's using the pound very well right here, especially on shield. Colonies has got to be careful. Very, very strong shield breaking option too for Hbox. And this is a not a bad percent for him either. He can actually kill around this percent if he gets a good rest, especially with the rage he's working with. And I... I if I know Hbox, he's always willing to go for that. If you can find like that landing dare. Connie's might also recognize that as well though. Very, very close to getting this kill. Nope, no shield poke on the Ooh. downer. You can see he wants that dare rest. Yeah, I was really scared for him too because he went for the second downer. Oh, oh no tech, no oh, tech. The oh, the sing? Can he get it though? And he does, and he does, oh, and he does, and he does. Enough Hbox. They call him Clutch Box for a reason. Brilliant, brilliant comeback. Capitalizing on that missed tech. Great stuff. Great oh. stuff from Hbox. And I've and I've been an advocate for it. Like if you I know you guys are some of you guys watching back home or watching the YouTube bot. Getting text online is no easy feat. It's really, really difficult actually to time it on. Because you also have to take it, uh, into consideration the input lag that you do get from the controller as is, but also the input lag that you also get from online. Those two are a very big factor into trying to get tech as good as possible. That's one of the complications of playing online. And I know Colonies, he's a, he's a player of many, many skills, but that was a very, very skilled opportunity for a hungry box to actually get the tech situation there against Colonies and then get that W. We, we, we talked about it, right? How it wasn't out of the cards for him, especially with Jigglypuff on Rage. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Hbox, he's, even outside of Ultimate, man, he's like been so many moments where he's down, he needs like some clutch play to bring it back. I feel like he never really counts himself out most of the time. Like he knows that he just needs that one good read, that one opportunity to bring back these these games. So very good stuff for him to take that, especially most when definitely. it looked like he was just tra uh, trailing so far behind. And now it's on Colonies because this is still best two out of three. He's the one on the back foot. He has all the pressure on him to stay in winners right here. So I'm curious what he's going to do to uh, try to counterpick Hbox. Honestly, I don't even think the the FD pick was bad at all, but let's see. Let's see what Connie's does. One thing that I've noticed today, tonight in Hbox's play, he's been doing excellent on avoiding Colony's aerials. Specifically, a lot of situations where he was off the stage in general, he was able to avoid things like forward air, all av available to avoid things like up air or returning up B. So Hbox has been pretty clear of how Young Link works. He, I think he talked about on the stream how he's beaten Colony's before. So this isn't the first time these two have tangoed. So it's good for him to take a look at, you know, things that base mage has done, because you know, I know for sure they probably talked before, but also look at what he's done as a player. He has those years of experience, put those two together. And that's why you see the W for Hbox and the first point on the board here on winner's top 64. While I have your guys' attention though, before we get to the next match, 
Huge, huge shout outs to our friend Fro. Uh, big, big shout out. And I already put it on there. You guys can follow him at twitch.tv at Fora. It's right there for you guys. You guys can see it in the VOD there. Uh, huge shout out to him, man. He's, he does a lot of good work with us whenever we're, you know, at Hat or wherever at MSM. So big, big shout outs to us. A quick little housekeeping before we jump into the next match. Uh, Big shout out to Red Bull. We've already talked about it before many, many times. They've been super supportive towards the Smash community, but excellently supportive towards 2G Gaming. We love working with them and they love working with us. And when these things happen, we have great events like the SoCal West Coast, I'm sorry, the West Coast Invitational presented by Red Bull. And of course, the Can You Be a Top Peeler featuring Larry Lur. Um, if you guys want to have other top players possibly featured along with Red Bull, uh, make sure you guys hit them up, hit us up, man. Let us know, who do you guys want? We got players like Void and Kaleo. Maybe uh, some other plays you guys might have in mind, but once again, big shout outs to Red Bull for that opportunity. Uh, you guys can catch the VODs that are currently uploading. I think they were, by the time this video has gone out, they should have been already uploaded. So make sure if you guys want to catch the West Coast Invitational VODs, they are available right on the channel that you guys are watching. Yes, except on YouTube, not, not Twitch. Yeah, yeah, except on YouTube, not on Twitch. But hey, if you guys are watching on YouTube and you guys want to watch us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash 2G Gaming on Twitch every Monday live at 7 o'clock PST. That is West Coast, Best Coast time for all you guys in the East Coast. Uh, definitely check us out. Uh, if you guys have a, if you guys have Amazon Prime, that means you guys have Prime Gaming. And feel free to toss that to 2G Gaming's way, man, because... It's rough times out there, but you know what? If you have a little bit of an extra, if you don't use your Prime Gaming sub, man, Jeff Bezos gets to laugh at you and it gets an extra $5 he could throw away in the toilet because he's so rich and he has that money. So use your Prime Gaming sub now. Anyways, game two, Hbox versus Colonies. Uh, Strides, what do you think Colonies is going to do different this time, especially going to Kalos now? Honestly, I don't even think Colonies did anything super bad in that game that he lost. He just made one tiny mistake at the end and, uh, you know, missing that tech at that percent, use, use curtains. Honestly, uh, don't really think he needs to change much. This is a great counter pick. Of course, Hbox actually really likes this stage. This is one of his, like, main counter picks. But, uh, any opportunity for Connie to, like, mix up his recovery, like, with the wall jumps, having the side platform is going to help him off stage. Because, yeah, he's definitely going to struggle with the edge guards, as we saw. I think he dropped two stocks outside of, you know, the same rest kill to just getting flat out edge guarded by Jaylee Puff. Yeah. But you see what Hbox is doing here. He like, he has a percent lead, so he's able to kind of play a slower paced game. Like, if he wants to hang on the platforms, like, you know, not really rushing as much, he can do that at this position. And yeah. uh, Colin's going to be the one that has to chase Jigglypuff, and we've kind of seen him struggle here. He has an early up B to avoid that edge guard, but you can see Hbox, once he throws Jigglypuff off the stage, he's, he's feeding for the Nairs. He knows if he can tag him out of, like, that jump, that up B, it's very easy to steal a stock. So uh, Connie's just, honestly, he needs to hold on to the stage as best possible. Yeah, and you kind of see that too. He's not really overly committing for anything to go crazy off the stage. He's just looking for an opportunity where we can get something like Fire Arrow, Bomb, Boomerang, anything that can get him started to lead into another area, which he only can do. You can see those Fire Arrows, an opportunity. The one thing that Hbox does so well here Ooh. is he's been avoiding every single projectile from Youngling. Oh, he's never reversed the Bomb in his hand. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. he's not good. dead without free recovery. Oh, it doesn't matter. It was a terrible recovery, actually. Yeah. They got the easy force smash. I thought he wouldn't have enough time to punish that. That's really unfortunate for Collins. I really do think that reverse up B was very big brain play. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. And now Hbox is sitting with the stock lead. Uh, in this kind of position, not very great. Because while Hbox isn't co purely committing to running away, he definitely has that as an opportunity now as Jamie Pope. Up air, not enough here. Of course, don't forget, Kalos has a very, very high ceiling here. And it's good for Hbox. We talked about it, Strides. It's a great stage for him and a great stage for Jigglypuff just because of the high ceiling, but also the way that Hbox is able to use those platforms. High percent here, that fire arrow to up air is what Colonies needed to get back into the game with a bomb trap on the way to back down. Okay. Nice. Oh, got a little bit greedy there. Try to extend a little bit too much with that follow up. It's going to lead him getting hard punished. Okay, again, nice early up B. He wants to sw Oh, Hbox went for a hard read. Thought you would roll in there. It's not going to be enough to kill, just barely. But, uh, yep. yeah. Man, Hbox really is feeling the confidence. He's up 1-0. Like, for him to go for a, a roll read rest like that just says a lot of things. Yeah. And, uh, Colony's oh. going to take that. Yeah, he's going to take that free punish and, uh, lead that to a, 
a stock lead now. That might that that rest uh, that he went for it might actually cost him this game. Oh, oh no! He went the wrong way for Hbox. Like, he really wanted that dare rest to you know even things up, but yeah, no luck for Hbox right now on the rest. He's he's 0 for two. He might yeah. need to just start committing again to the edge guards if he can force Connie's into a bold position off stage. It hasn't been easy so far though. Connie's has been uh, playing very stellar on this stock now that he has the lead. He can kind of force Hbox to approach a little bit more. Okay, it's a good back air shield. Just making his landing very difficult with all the projectiles. Excellent parry, but not able to get away from Colonies. Colonies with the bomb toss. Good for him to cover the arrow. Excellent with the fire arrow, but not enough to stop Hbox. Like you said, he's going to need a really big read here, but Colonies sees the fire arrow and the up air. Even on Kalos, that is enough to take care of him on this stage. Great stuff, great for, stuff for Colonies. Hbox gave him some freebies with those, uh, those rest attempts. And uh, that's all he needed to bring that back, honestly. Yeah, I agree. Uh, for Connie's, like I like you saw, I'm sorry, like I said earlier, that's all he really needed. Those opportunities where he can get boomerang, we can get bomb, we can get fire arrow boomerang specifically because it stops Ace Box on the aggression. It is a tool that is really good when you want to go ahead and lead in with a with an aggressive push, but you also stop your opponent because they have to consider boomerang on the way back. Unless they get grab armor. Fire arrow was really good for pushing damage and also really good for your abilities to close in the gap between your and your opponent and confirm to an aerial like colonies. He confirmed into an up air and that was twice that he was able to take the stock from Hbox. We can see that colonies uses bombs as a trapping tool. When he throws it up, it's for a good reason. He knows Hbox might be landing towards it or making an attempt or he uses that a trap to pressure Hbox into an opportunity where he might roll or fall into one of colonies aerials. Uh, that's just how the matchup goes between, you know, Young Wink and Jigglypuff. That is the name of the game. You can see that Jigglypuff is really, really, even though Jigglypuff has a lot of jumps, it's a slow moving balloon. And it's enough for a Young Wink to actually pop the balloon because he has the airspeed to contest Jigglypuff. Strides, uh, I think you said it best, right? Hbox kind of handed him this game because he, unfortunately, whether it was misput or, you know, mis-execution, he did try to go for those really, really hungry, um, no pun intended, down air rest or down air grab. He just had a raw rest, he did. Like, he just thought Colonies would roll in. He kind of went for a big read that just wasn't there. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I know he likes to really run with the momentum. So after getting that first game, maybe he thought, all right, I, I'm kind of in Colonies' head. I can go for these, like, hard plays. But uh, it just didn't work out for him. And now we see um, they're running it right back to FD. This stage did lead to Hbox stealing the first game. So let's see if he can have some repeated success here. Running this back to FD. I, I, it's you, you look at the, how FD plays out for Hbox so far here. He's been able to whip punish colonies these past few times, leading up to that 71%. And it's such a great oh. aggression with that aerial. Wanting to catch the jump. Colonies with no bomb in hand. Oh, oh there it is again. Oh, yeah. Miscommunication there on Hbox's part here. Communi miscommunication to himself here because he thought he had the roll read with the rest. The big thing um, about it, too, is that it's it pays so much if you manage to get that because you basically get such a huge stock lead and Jigglypuff needs that because of Jigglypuff's lightweight opportunities that he has. Yeah, but he oh. is getting a lot of opportunities for edge guards. And he nice finds it. Catch. Yep, that's what you need. Honestly, way more consistent than going for these roll read rests. Honestly, it can, it's just safer pressure on stage on the young one's recovery. Yeah. Uh, I would, like, if he's going to go for rest, I would just prefer it out of a jab lock or just uh, a dare combo. Unless I'm... he just has a super high read on a roll-in from Connie's, but Connie's is not out of this just yet. Strong combo there. It looks like the uh, double arrow to the forward air to close that out without taking any percent. Yeah, that's going to be Connie's better and better opportunities to kind of take care of Hbox. Having that projectile from mid-range to confirm into an aerial is huge against Jigglypuff. But like you said, Strides, that was the one thing that Hbox needed to do last game better was forget the roll reads, stick to your bread and butters here, and it's get those edge guards because that's what puts him at such an even stock here. And that's what won him the first game. Yep. He also, I know he definitely wants to set up more of these like tech chase scenarios as well, just to test if Connie is ready to get that that tech or not. Because if he misses it, uh, very it's early curtains. kill opportunity for him. Yeah. 
Right now, though, Connie's, yeah, he needed to challenge that forward air uh, H box that is, because Connie's was looming with the fear of his own. Might be enough to kill Jigglypuff in uh, that deep off stage. Yeah, speaking of challenge here, H box has been challenged those projectiles. He hit it with a forward air. He hit one of them with a pound. He is looking ways to get around Colony and poke through there. Excellent opportunity to go for the directional air dodge and barely survive Colonies. He's on the other end, not gonna fall for that down tilt to roll or anything like that. I like that angle on the uh, B as well, just getting that reverse hitbox out in case uh, H Rush has to poke his head over the ledge a little bit unsafely. But mm. the arrow to up air again, very, very consistent for Colonies. He's gotten so many stocks with that already. H Rush, oh, great tech. Doesn't oh. get what he's looking for. And. Oh, the double downer into the upper. That's so much percent. 46 is huge as Jigglypuff. Very, very scary position to be in. That brilliant tech from Connie is keeping him in this game. He's not going to fall out for, fall for the rollout, unfortunately, for H-Box. He's looking for some way to take this stock before Connie's can keep steamrolling his lead right here. But this is looking really good for him right now. Oh, crosses up his shield in there. He's looking for something. Just one poke. Trade it. Kind of in Colony's favor at this point. Nice using the bomb to ledge invincibility here. All Excellent. Got Wait for it. Wait oh, for it. Excellent it. Yeah. play. Nice. He knew he had the bomb in hand, but he wanted him to commit to going extra low with that opportunity. He gets the neutral air finally. Close call for HBox there right off the fire arrow, but Ooh, finally the down tilt. Up there. That's enough. Oh, man. HBox. HBox wasn't able to find the clutch in this game, unfortunately. Colony's just looking too strong in that game three right there but very 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 good stuff from both players i gotta say hbox didn't count himself out at all